Sparkle is going to be the second limited 5-star character releasing in version 2.0. So today we're going to discuss what we know about her kit so far from the 2.0 livestream as well as some possible synergies and my overall thoughts about her and spoiler alert I am very excited about Sparkle for my account specifically. So starting out with her gameplay like I said in the Black Swan analysis we don't have um, any of the full kits of the new characters because they didn't go over them in the same kind of way that they did in the previous version live streams so we do only have bits and pieces. So. To talk about what we know that they confirmed about Sparkle so far, they said that Sparkle's skill will advance an ally's action forward by a certain amount. So it does have probably a very similar effect to Branya's, but instead of it being a 100% action advance forward, it's only going to be like a smaller value. So you probably will have to do some speed tuning to make it really work in your favor, but we'll have to see what those numbers end up being once we get her full cap. Then we also saw that her ultimate can restore multiple skill points for the team which is really solid as well i do hope it can come with some type of buff as well but even without that being able to increase skill points through the ult is very good especially for teams that are going to be using a lot of skill points then there are two effects that they mentioned that i think could very well be a part of her talent the first one is that the maximum amount of skill points available to the team when Sparkle is on the team is 7, which is extremely nice if she gets 2 extra skill points for the entire team. And the second thing is that she increases the amount of damage that your allies can deal based on the amount of skill points that have been used. And both of these together are extremely powerful because you're already going to have a higher cap for your skill points, but also using more skill points is going to lead to more damage, which I think is very solid no matter what kind of team you have her on. So I do think, you know, my, my biggest, you know, thought about her is that I think she's going to be an absolutely amazing support, specifically for characters that do sometimes struggle when it comes to skill points. Now, I know we have Hanya who can generate a skill point with her skill, but Sparkle, I think it's just going to be on a completely different level. In terms of synergies, I think that she's mainly going to work extremely well with characters like Imbibitor Lune, Xing Chue, uh, Sila as well. Pretty much any character that's using their skill extremely often to be able to not only have more skill points available for the team to you know, give you some more options for team building, but also to increase the damage of those characters when they're using those skill points. And also to give them more actions as well with her skill. Now, while I do think that no matter what, any, you know, skill point in intensive DPS can benefit from a Sparkle, I do also want to shine some light on the Mono Quantum team because the main issue that the Mono Quantum team had prior to Sparkle is the fact that there was no Quantum buffer. So a lot of the times it just ended up being better to run Branya or now Ruan Mei or Ting Yun with your, uh, with your Quantum team. But now with Sparkle, you'll be able to finally run a full Mono Quantum team and not run into the issue of not having a buffer. So I, I do expect her to be a universally amazing support, which, um, you know, she could have. I do think she's going to have some very clear niches like Mono Quantum, for example. But I do also think like for Imbibitor Lune, who's not Quantum, she's still going to provide a ton of value because you're going to be able to more consistently get his um, his three skill point enhanced basic attack, which really, if you're playing in Bobby Lune and you're not getting that basic attack, the, the max basic attack, I don't know what you're doing because you're just missing out on so much damage with him otherwise. So overall, I think Sparkle does have an insane amount of potential as a limited five star harmony character. And if Ruan Mei's impact on the game and her absolute dominance upon release wasn't a sign of how strong these limited five-star harmony characters could be then i think sparkle is really going to be that wake-up call as well now do i think she's going to be like impact the game on the same level i'm not sure we'll have to see when she comes out and when we have the full info about her kit but i do think that in her niche of um like skill point hunger dps's and also mono quantum which i know there are plenty of players myself included that are planning on running that team sparkle is going to be amazing on those comps for sure but let me know what you all think about Sparkle in the comments down below. I definitely am interested. I'm really excited about her and I've been saving for her ever since I pulled for Ruan May. So 
well yeah i'll definitely be having my pulls definitely be pulling for sparkle but yeah with that i'm gonna end off the video here thank you all for watching if you enjoyed and you haven't already definitely be sure to leave a like subscribe to the channel ring that notification bell all that fun stuff and i will see you all next time